generally speaking, I, I think we will um, continue to see growth, especially in the industrial market, for many reasons. Uh, the fundamentals of this uh, sector are too strong at this point. Uh, there is a there is a lack of supply. The land cost and construction costs have exploded, uh, which has given even more more room for existing properties to keep uh, raising rent. Uh, Second of all, the, the two thirds of the Canadian uh, industrial real estate is related to manufacturing activities, and um, we can expect manufacturing uh, to uh, the manufacturing demand to increase in Canada for the, the the coming years with all what's going on with COVID and uh, supply chain uh, revision, and um, also the, the 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 pressure that e-commerce has put on on industrial real estate is is uh, phenomenal. Uh, the, now, e-commerce is adopted by most of the population, which was not the case uh, six months ago. So the trend is going to keep increasing. Uh, and online retailers have realized that it's more expensive to lose a client than to uh, keep extra inventory. So uh, we're really moving from a supply chain that was based on just-in-time to and now what is called just-in-case. Uh, inventory is going to be increased. In order not to miss any sales, and that's going to keep uh, putting pressure on, on the industrial market. And uh, th th there is also less square foot of industrial real estate in the province of Quebec than any other comparable market uh, in uh, in Canada. And uh, the rents are already higher higher in these other markets. So there, there's definitely a potential for additional growth here. Um, on the office side, uh, I think we're going through a storm. It's very difficult still as of today to, to uh, see clearly uh, through uh, what is going on. Uh, the trends I think we will see for sure is an increase of demand in suburbs uh, as we move from uh, work from home to work near home. Um, and the uh, lease terms are going to get uh, shorter for sure because uh, we, we, we are too much in the transformation period right now. In my opinion, uh, we will see a very strong demand in the industrial asset class, especially from those performing well in their e-commerce business. I believe 2021-2022 will be the years of the big boxes, where many large industrial users will be moving forward with their built to suit uh, projects due to the lack of existing inventory. I believe uh, real estate developers which uh, with, who have well-located sites will, and that can accommodate 150,000 square feet and more will be in a very good position over the next 12 to 24 months. I think an important factor to consider as well are renewals. Some industrial tenants uh, who haven't yet negotiated their renewals, I think will be in shock uh, when some of their landlords do come back with increases taking them from 4 to $5 net rental rates to north of 7 or 8 while many office tenants are going to look to their landlords to help them in these tough times. Uh, I believe that those who aren't cooperative are going to be surprised when time comes to renew and some of these tenants do leave. In, uh, in my opinion, the office market in both the downtown and the suburban areas will continue to see sole leasing activity, while subleases will continue to give tenants some amazing opportunities. I think uh, many corporations will continue to analyze what is the best work environment for their staff. And I think flexibility will be key to retain top talent. Um, I think COVID-19 will cause for a resurgence in certain markets with many companies looking for cost efficient alternatives. I believe we will see significant absorption of flex space and office space in areas such as the Garment District, also known as Chabanel. In my opinion, this will be the next cool and trendy area of town. For uh, looking at residential, I believe we will see a very strong demand for rental style condos as people fear investing in real estate during these times of uncertainty. I believe the condo market will slow down in the downtown cores considerably. Um, and finally, with regards to retail, I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to, to retail real estate, uh, but I do believe some residential developers will be looking at smaller shopping centers and plazas 
that they can purchase and convert into uh, residential developments or even mixed-use type projects. I have a positive outlook for the real estate market in Montreal over the next 15 months. I think we went into COVID in a very strong position. And what we're really seeing is a lot of acceleration of pre-COVID trends, um, you know, as we go through this, you know, difficult uh, health crisis. So asset classes like industrial, uh, which were um, surely uh, of interest uh, to a large swath of investors continue uh, to be so with the acceleration of online shopping, driving demand for a warehouse, that's just accelerating. On the flip side of that, continued pressure on retail, um, given the fact that more people are shopping online. So I think that you're going to see less capital um, flowing to that asset class and, you know, clearly ongoing challenges in non-needs-based uh, retail. On the multifamily side, we continue to think that that is uh, a great asset class to be in. You know, the desire for dynamic urban living environments, despite this, you know, uh, concerns about, um, I guess, physical proximity in the short term. Uh, I don't see that as being something that's going to stay uh, permanently as a concern. So that's an area that we as investors are very interested in. Um, you know, seniors housing, despite the negative headlines, particularly on the long term care uh, in our portfolio has done better than we had expected. Uh, clearly, the health and safety of our residents and of our employees has been, you know, a key focus. And luckily, we have managed to manage through the crisis quite well with very few uh, outbreaks. Um, so that certainly is an area that we think will continue to be of interest just because of the strong demographic, you know, the supply and demand dynamics there uh, continue to be positive in the long term. So we see that bouncing back as well. Question mark on the, you know, office front. I think um, there's, you know, a school of thought that, you know, uh, office is dead. Uh, I'm not a believer in that. I think that uh, it will definitely change. And again, you know, all of this experiment of working from home that we've been living globally will certainly change the way we use office space. Um, but at the end of the day, I think that there will be a mix of, you know, the flexibility of work from home, plus the desire to be in an office space, to transmit culture, uh, to provide mentorship. And we're gregarious by nature. So I think we need to hang out together to generate uh, good ideas. So that'll shift. Um, and so I also think that that's a short term trend. When you look at Montreal, um, you know, the the knowledge worker base has been growing. I think that's going to continue. Um, so I really see this bump as being temporary and I'm looking forward to us getting back on track. Well, right now what we're seeing is we're seeing an increase per door, price per door. This is going to be maintained. Uh, it's going to continue to increase, but very slightly over the following period. A very uh, interesting is to see the fact that the quantity of sales are being kept just about the same. There's been a little drop in the second quarter, but the pricing has increased quite a bit. Uh, almost 54% of the sales are above $100,000 a door. There's a compression in the cap rates that started in 2019. We were at 4.9 cap rate in average in Montreal. And we've dropped in December about 4.8. And very interesting to see that right after the month of June, where all of mostly the renewal of the leases are in Montreal, we've dropped to our 4.7. So we are seeing a cap rate which is compressing and is continuing to compress during the COVID period. Uh, the, company, the quantity of sales are good. The length of the transactions are longer, but pricing is going up. And this is because there's more and more buyers on the market.